Hello everyone, I am Dennis Wang. There are countless possibilities and ways when it comes to orient your object to achieve success prints. And I want to share 5 tips as basic that I always use when deciding orientation. Avoid flat orientation if possible. If you don't have a very well-tuned bottom exposure, your object will be super hard to remove from the plate. But sometimes flex plate might help in this case for easy removal. If you have incorrect leveling for your build plate, it may cause compression issue where your object is coming out shorter than the design, especially on early layers. If you print with supports and don't print flat, compression will not be an issue. Print may warp or curl or distort it after curing. The bottom part that sticks to the plate has higher exposure compared to the normal layers. That means they have different string rate. So it's better to angle your object. If it round object, angle it at one axis is fine. If your model is kinda box or square shape, then you need to angle it on two axis. Minimize surface area. Angle your model can minimize the peeling force. I am sure you often hear the peeling sound or snapping when printing. On object with very wide surface area, it has stronger peeling force. And you could hear the snapping sound louder and may cause resin to splash out of the resin tank. To avoid stepping lines or layer lines, we want to minimize the surface area, especially the surface that is facing up to get rid or minimize stepping lines or layer lines. Slightly tilt back for a humanoid or head sculpt. If you don't tilt it back, oftentimes you have to support under the nose or around the eyes. We want to avoid damage from support contact point, especially around the face. By tilting slightly backward, we can avoid placing support at the face, hence avoiding damage. Avoid suction by turning it upside down for cup or open box shape object. Any cup shape or open box shape object like this could have suction cup issue if you orient it like this. But you might get lucky and the print success though. When your luck runs out, this might happen. The side of the model just bursts open from the suction when lifting and pressure when retract. So better turn it upside down and support the edge. Don't print straight if possible. This is also depends on the object thickness. If it's under 2mm, most of the time it will be fine. With straight orientation, the constant exposure at the same spot could cause the FEP to get dry. And less effective when release the printed layer. As a result, the peeling force getting stronger and stronger and your print can fail. So the print got cut off suddenly and fail. Or like this example picture, it managed to print half well until the peeling force gets too strong and will not release, resulted in this fail. Actually, the image owner told me he accidentally stacked two flex plate, which I find it awesome that it able to print halfway until the magnet lose the battle against the peeling force. There is a way to minimize fail if you have no choice but to use straight orientation, usually slightly longer exposure at about 0.2 to 0.4 seconds and higher lift distance about plus 2 or 3 millimeters from your current lift distance if you find this video helpful kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to support my channel directly you could check my pattern link in video description thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video thank you Luis Ramirez, Bud and Pili for becoming my patron